All right, guys, since this is a Nintendo Switch tutorial, I gotta read you a disclaimer. This channel does not promote or encourage any legal activities. Anything that I show you in the video is for educational purposes only. Now, with that out of the way on today's video, I'm gonna be sharing the latest hats pack for firmware 20.2.0. This is gonna include Atmosphere 1.9.2 with Ekate 6.3.1. Now, this is gonna have the latest updated files with all the best applications. Now the things that you're gonna need is gonna be a switch, a V1, unpatched, uh, an SD card, uh, pretty much any size. I do recommend 500 gigabytes or above if possible. RCM jig and Tegra RCM program to load the payload. So I'm gonna be leaving you all the links that you're gonna need in the pinned comment of this video. So the first link is going to be for my page. So just head over to my page, scroll down until you find the wallpaper of the video. I'm going to be leaving you two links. One is going to be for the latest hats pack download page. The other link is going to be for the switch firmware 20.2.0. So you can simply uh, do a fresh install on your SD card, or you can also update your files if you want to update your system. Just replace the files, uh, override any files that I ask you to. Uh, lastly, you can update your switch to the latest firmware offline by using the Daybreak app. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, this is in case you don't want to go online with your switch. So now for the first link, this is going to be the Hats Pack site. Uh, just scroll down on the page. This is going to be everything included. Now this is going to have all the latest patches. So scroll all the way down to the download uh, section. You're going to download the folder. You're going to need to unzip it using 7-Zip or WinRAR. Now the second link is going to be the firmware 20.2.0. You're going to go down to the asset section. So firmware 20.2.0 zip. You're going to download the folder. You're going to also unzip it using 7-Zip or WinRAR. The third link is going to be the Tegra RCM program. So just scroll down to the assets. Uh, you can either do the installer or the portable. It's totally up to you. And the last link is going to be the Hikate 6.3.1. So scroll down on the page until you find the download section. Uh, and make sure that you uh, carry over the uh, bin file uh, which you, you're going to need to inject the payload now I'm going to show you all the folders so this is going to be the hats pack it's going to be all the files uh, what you can do is you can take the firmware folder you can just copy it to the root of your SD card with all these other uh, files. Um, and then Tegra RCM, you're gonna run the exe file to run the program. Now I'm not gonna sh show you how to do this, uh, but you're basically gonna run the program uh, and then you're gonna inject the payload using the Akate uh, 6.3.1 bin file. So just select all these files and then drag and drop them to the root of your switch's SD card uh, formatted in FAT32. So that's pretty much it uh, on the computer side of things. Now we're going to get on the Nintendo Switch. Um, I'm just going to show you guys how to update your Switch using the Daybreak app. And I'm going to show you um, the uh, homebrew applications that it's going to come with. All right, guys, now over on the switch, um, after you inject your payload uh, and run into uh, custom firmware, you're going to select your album. So this is going to be all your applications. That's going to include. Uh, 
Now these are the most up-to-date homebrew applications. Now if you want to update your system, you're going to go over to Daybreak. You're going to load it up. You're going to go to Install. You're going to go to your firmware package, so 20.2.0. Um, and then you're going to install the firmware. It's as easy as that. Um, I will leave all the links that you guys are going to need in the pinned comment of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And on to the next one.